That's okay. You can just, yeah. Um, Make sure you're up. Yeah, all right, guys, keep one mic, please. Uh, it's important that you guys pay attention to what they're doing and ask questions. So, uh, for our project, we're doing the joystick virtual keyboard. It's doing it. What? <laughs> okay. Wait, it's working? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you got it working? Perfect. Is it, is it like doing stuff? Is it, it's downloading the data from the oh, thing. So, so it's not actually. Doing it's doing it. something now. But it's going to do something. Right now. Uh, compiling. Okay. So we've got, so what, right now, we're working on a couple of things. The main thing we're working on is getting the buttons on the joystick to correspond to uh, various buttons on the virtual keyboard we're going to have. We asked Vernita about which buttons she wanted most and in what locations. So we are currently in the process of setting that up so that when you press, for example, the trigger here, it will click on the computer. And then the second thing that we're working on is actually having a program that will be an on-spun keyboard for Vernita to use. And so we're trying to see if we can um, use uh, Visual Studio for Microsoft to, to code with C++ or something like that in order to actually make an on-screen keyboard. So yeah. Does anyone have any questions? Clap, 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 yay! <laughs> All right. Questions? Who's got questions? Omar, do you have a question? Do I? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, do I? I guess I have one. Um, how many buttons does that thing have? Yeah. A lot. Scott, <laughs> five here. Sure. The trigger and this button. The Six. And then there's like another so mini seven. joystick. Seven buttons. So there are 26 letters in the alphabet. How are you going to adjust That's them? the thing. We're having a virtual keyboard on screen yeah. controlled oh. by the joystick. And then there are a few key buttons, such as click, sticky keys. This would be like an enter, uh, caps enter, lock, caps lock. Oh, okay. Just All have right. Various important buttons like those can be instant access right here. Any other questions? Other questions? Uh, so what's your very next step? Well, the very next step would be to finish getting all the, the maps map on the joystick. Awesome. Cool. Uh, and your blog post is done? Yeah. Is it done, Abhishek? Yeah. All right. Yes. We're yes. Yes. Team Aqua Blue Phoenix, good job. Yeah. Who's next? Yeah. Team Mind Controlling Cats. Yeah. One mic for Mind Controlling Cats. Yo, what's up? Anyway, um, <laughs> basic gist, uh, we're, we're at a little bit of odds exactly how, like, we knew for one part that we wanted to have, um, sort of different pillows so that people could, um, sw like, swap pieces and, um, configure buttons as they want, but we had a little discrepancy on how many pieces, so, um, we sort of split up and my group worked on just three pillows. The basic gist is that uh, there are a couple of buttons here, a couple of buttons here, but there'll be one master pillow where uh, ideally one be able to control the colors um, through the swivel of their neck, they'll be able to just select the color, and then going up and down would we'll select the brightness of it. And then... Okay, so we use five pillows. Each one will do a work differently, so if the person have a less mobility of the head, so the person can use the arm pillow in order to do it. So that's the basic thing. And we are working on Adreno. So after finishing the Adreno, then we will see how it works. Yeah, we're, oh yeah, uh, we're trying to um, see if we can get um, Arduino to work wirelessly so that we don't have to have an Arduino board per pillow. Um, so it'd be a lot easier. <coughs> have you guys tried? And the size of Adreno. The Flores, the little circular ones. Someone write that down. I'm not sure if it'll work with the little floras, the circular floras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. That's just. All right. Uh, any questions for mind controlling cats? Yes. What program do you want to use to, to draw on? Ideally, our range, but we're not sure how they'll how open they'll be with us tampering with their thing. So uh, we're gonna see if we can find a sort of open open source art program alternative. Okay. Anything else? And, uh, how does my hair look this good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, Mind Controlling Cats! Yay.